going on, people? We're down here at the Hoover Dam. It's pretty awesome. You gotta see it. You gotta see it. We're gonna be going down there in just a few minutes. This is the first block of concrete, the first pour of concrete sample is part of the first pour, okay? Look at the bottom. Do you see the name? Yeah. Thomas Stewart, right there at the bottom, Thomas Stewart. Yeah. Don't know if it was a relative or not. <laughs> <laughs> One day I found it on there and I was like, holy hell, my name's on the first block of concrete. <laughs> <laughs> but that's oh, basically a cool model. Yeah, that's... During the time Safety running, first. The time lapse of the dam being built. Wow. You being a model builder, I knew you'd appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. You want to make your own electricity? Well, guess what? There's electricity. You guys can take all the pictures you want. That's what we're doing. Oh. Oh. Based on this 20 foot diameter, 520 foot deep, was performed using a vertical shaft boring machine. And that's what it sort of looked like. Sorry. Well, you're not in the way. Let's head on down. At Halloween, one of our mechanics put two little flashing red eyes inside the little holes right there. Makes a good display. <laughs> there's, there's leakage. There are no leaks, sir. There's a lady present. We don't use four letter words like that, please. It is seepage. Seepage. Seepage is planned for. Leaks are not. Seepage. Our tour guide is Tom Stewart. Cavens today, please. Oh, they got a head cap off. They were doing that yesterday. Oh, we got, oh, we got it. Right there. That's called an exciter. That starts the electrical current. That sits right on top of that second power down. Wow, check it out. Check it out. Wow. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Because around the 
generator, it actually has reverse radiators that cool it for the friction. That sawhorse, the three of us couldn't lift that. That's an I beam. That's the pelton. That was cut from a single billet of stainless. There's no welds. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. That's in here. That's the water wheels are the small ones. Oh, okay. It centers the generator. So if we look at it again on the old one, there's the generator and there's the water oh, wheel. Right. You see it? That's the side of it there. That's a zoomed in version. You can see the old bolted together one. Standing right here. 
In order to build a dam, they drilled four tunnels, called conversion tunnels, 56 feet in diameter, 4,000 feet in length, length, three feet in concrete, all the way out, making a 50 foot in diameter conversion tunnel. We're standing here, and right now we are actually inside a 50 foot in diameter conversion tunnel. Once the conversion tunnels were drilled, they took the excavated earthen rock and they dumped it in the canyon on either side, creating earthen dams, typical dam building method. They're called coffer dams. Center area was pumped dry. They dug down 135 feet until they hit bedrock on June 6, 1933. First bucket of concrete was placed. They brought it down in eight cubic yard buckets. They dropped it into the dam. Here's a good picture of it over here. If you walk over here, you'll see it. That little speck right there is an eight cubic yard bucket. Wow. One eight cubic yard bucket into a form that was 30 by 30 feet at the base, five feet tall, up to 60 by 60 feet at the top, five feet tall, would create three to four inches of concrete. I'm here to dispel a myth. You cannot bury a body in three to four inches of concrete at a time. There is no one buried in Hoover Dam. 2,500 workers in it would have seen it. Jimmy Hoff is not in there. He's on the other side with the cement chute. Nobody's not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Once they started forming the concrete, they came up with another major problem. We talked about a little bit downstairs. Concrete is a chemical reaction. It sets up. It gets hot. They built that thousand ton ammonia plant down here. Ran one to two inch pipes through each form. There's a main pipe that ran up the center eight foot slot. Ran one to two inch pipes horizontally vertically through each form, cooling a form by pumping 38 and 42 degree water through it. Cooling a form in a 72 hour period, giving them the ability to pour concrete three shifts, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 363 days a year for one week shy of two years straight, almost nonstop. At peak, they were putting an eight cubic yard bucket or a cement truck into the structure every 78 seconds. That is phenomenal. If you've ever poured 12 or 15 yards with a bunch of guys on a Saturday afternoon, you're just scrambling to keep ahead of what's coming at you. These guys did it every day for two years straight, two days off a year. What were they, you know? Christmas. Christmas is an easy one. What's the other one? Thanksgiving. Independence Day, 4th of July. Oh, of July. <laughs> Still have the 4th of July parade in Boulder City. Everybody from over the hill comes over and sees it. We have like 135 entrance. The Thunderbirds fly over in the morning, and at the end, we have a novelty at the parade at the very end that we don't do at very many places anymore. Everybody can bring their water guns, guns, can you imagine it? And we have a water fight at the end with the firefighters and have a great time and no one gets mad. I'm there. What a deal. I wish I had that one. I would have brought it. for 20 millennium feet. They were so large they could not ship them to us. So they sent us a steel fabrication plant being from back east. You probably know Babcox and Wilcox. That's who was out here that fabricated all the pipe. We have four main lines, 2,000 feet of main each. So there's 8,000 feet of pipe. At capacity, this pipe can carry 50,000 gallons a second through it. So at capacity, we can put 200,000 gallons of water a second through the mains. The pipes are connected by pressure pins because rivets are rigid and would tear. A pressure pin has a little bit more flexibility, they say. The pressure pin being three inch diameter steel pin and you little rivets. There's 272 pins. You can see the nipples sticking out right there. Every one of those, if you want to think about this, they put two pieces of pipe together. They didn't have carbide, and they sat there, and they drilled those holes through two two and three quarter inch boilerplate steel pipes all the way around, and then pressed them in. They would heat the hole until it expanded. Then they pushed the pin through, and as the cold pin went in, it, it sucked down on it, and that's how they sealed it. How much did it cost to build? It cost $165 million, paid for a 50 year loan. That's like a death cost.
shaft in them, 65 feet in diameter, 38 inches in diameter, weighs about 114 tons, just the shaft. That's an oddball one. To produce electricity, this has to spin at 257 and a seventh, plus or minus one revolution, with the rest of it spin at 180 revolutions. It's just a smaller generator. stocks were installed, they went in through these four holes. There, 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 and up there. There are definitely a gnat infestation down here. Whew. side of those circle holes from the outside of the building that we saw earlier. So we're going back outside. Take a look on the roof deck here. It's the other side of the hole. See on the roof deck the cables that come up? Those each have, if you look, they've got counterweights on the back of them that pull the wires taut as it gets hot and cold. You can see the pulleys in the middle. Right there. That's called the lower portal road. It comes out and it comes in through there. It goes right through the canyon wall. If it's a, if it's like a boom truck, the boom truck can't be lowered by that. But you see, in front of that boom truck, the white one there, there's a wood platform with a, like a piece of uh, an angled silver sort of A-frame coming up. You oh, see yeah, it there? Right there? That's a rail car elevator. We roll those onto that. This bridge crane here or cable crane, I should say, comes down, lowers down, grabs that, picks it up, takes it up, puts it out on the top of the Oh, deck. wow. Yeah. That's interesting. He couldn't walk on three days, he wouldn't change anything. Like <laughs> Billy. Oh, it's like a serious building. 
now you're inside the diversion tunnel that they poured concrete in and made a room. Okay, you see the diversion tunnel curvature? Let's keep going. So how many times did you get lost? Once in a while, I'd get to a point where I'd go, where the hell am I? And I'd have to sort of think about it, and then I'd go, oh, there I am. Yeah, okay. I'd, I'd, I'd open a door and go, oh, I know where I'm at. Deep inside the Hoover Dam. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it all in. Not a lot of folks get the view from down here. I don't think. Look at all these gnats, man. Woo-wee! Can't even see up with all the bugs that are down here. Oh my gosh. Getting attacked by the gnats. There's the dam. We're at the very bottom. Well, the outside bottom anyway. I gotta catch up. I gotta catch up. I wanna get zapped around here. I'm in two states at once. Two states at once, Arizona and Nevada. Gotta go. We're here at the Hoover Dam. Looking at the low levels of water. Believe it or not, it's actually up 18 feet. You 18 said 18 feet? feet. He, said, yeah. he said it's up 18 feet. But still, when I moved here in 1998 originally, there was no white wall. None at all. The, the guards they got on the dam. Armed and dangerous. <laughs> We're gonna go take a look over here. In just a few minutes. We're gonna take you down there. Sorry about the wind. There's the Nevada side. in Arizona. It's going to be in Arizona in just a few minutes here. But it's windy, so I'll bring you back. Take a look at how dry this is. This is ridiculous. California stopped stealing our water, man.
foot tour is better, folks. Get out and check things out for yourself. There's some of the, the spillway that's no longer anything good. Well, my ride's here, folks. It's time to go. I'm going to have to hitch a ride over here. Bus? Oh no, it's not the bus. It's not the bus. Look at that. Oh my god. Look, 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 look. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> hey, mister, you want a ride? My ride's here. Special Uber. <laughs>